With me to talk more about BP's escalating troubles and its shattered share price is Dougie Youngson, analyst at Arbuthnot Securities. Thank you very much indeed. Now, you're one of the few people that's been saying sell for uh, some time now. What do you make of uh, the idea that uh, more people have been buying than selling BP in the UK? I think really investors are just averaging down their position. Uh, really, you know, they're, they're, they've lost so much money, they're just trying to hopefully claw back their position to a more suitable uh, place. Mm -hmm. So people are actually just buying and selling for relatively quick trades as something happens to spike the share price exactly. a little bit. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting as well, though, that there's so many people do have it as a buy recommendation. And you're a lone voice in the crowd at the moment, aren't you? It feels like it sometimes. <laughs> Now, looking at what's happened, uh, looking at, first of all, let's look at the uh, bond sales. Uh, they do need an extraordinarily large amount of money. Um, are you confident that those bond sales will go well? Um, I, I think it would be tr very tricky, mm -hmm. especially given the, the downgrades and their credit ratings mm -hmm. of late. Um, but it makes a huge amount of sense to do it now before there's more potential downgrades in the future if this situation continues. Indeed. And also they're going to have to look at selling assets as well. Well, did that surprise you? Um, not really, to mm -hmm. be honest. You know, they've got a huge portfolio. They tend to um, divest about $2 billion uh, worth of assets every year. Right. So it's, it's quite a substantial upgrade in that number, but not wholly unexpected. I mean, there were talks last week about bankruptcy in, in the US. Uh, I mean, do you feel, feel certain that they'll be able to cope with raising the money elsewhere? Um, I, I think it's very uncertain, to be honest. Really? You know, what we have to remember is this well is still pumping out a huge volume of oil mm -hmm. into the Gulf of Mexico. And for me, until, until that is stopped, it, there's still a huge amount of uncertainty. So would you rule out bankruptcy? Not at this stage, really. Yeah. You know, we've got no real idea how much longer this is going to go on for. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, um, let's look at uh, Tony Hayward. Uh, he does seem to uh, have PR disaster after mm. disaster, as it was said. It does seem a little unfair, though. I mean, I think uh, President Obama uh, took two days off this weekend. Um, uh, Tony Hayward, it appears, can't uh, just do anything right at the moment. No, it feels a bit like he's suffering from foot and mouth disease. Um, you know, after all the gaffes that he has made over the past uh, few weeks, mm -hmm. this is just an another want to add to the catalogue of errors. Perhaps if he needed to take a day off, which I think is understandable, it would have been better to take it off away from the cameras. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So what would it take, really? Uh, how, what, how could things turn around for you to be a bit more positive about BP right now? I, I think ultimately these two relief wells have to do their job. Mm -hmm. But with all things in the, in the oil sector, there's no such thing as 100% guarantee, mm -hmm. particularly when it comes to drilling. We're still you know, a, a long way away from that first well being completed at the start of August. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, that, that will hopefully sort the situation, but again, we just have to wait and see. So until we see that as well, we're not going to have any idea about the limitations um, on the kind of liability that BP faces. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. So it won't be until you see a little bit more positive uh, on the actual oil disaster itself mm -hmm. that you can think of what else, what's next for BP. That, that's correct. Okay, Dougie, thank you very much indeed.